Well, that Sunday afternoon, had a chance after church, come out to the lakes today, see what we come up with. Really, after that river adventure that I did back on Friday, I was exhausted. I didn't do anything on Saturday. So I thought I would come out here today and do a little treasure hunting at the lake and see what we can find. And we found a few treasures. <laughs> Any good treasure has to come with trash first. Here's all the trash, your typical stuff. And here are the coins. And then here are the treasures for today. I got three silver rings. One is a Christian fish ring. And um, I can't see a maker's mark on there. I don't know if it may be James Avery or, or not. I don't think it is. That's a nice silver ring. Got another ring here. It says Samantha. 925. And has a little writing on the top of it. And then here's our third ring. Which is a nice 925 ring. These are going to clean up real nice. This one hasn't been in the lake too long, but these two have been in the lake for some time to be tarnished black like that. I think at the end of this video, what I might do is show you how I clean my silver rings and uh, take a before and an after pick and to show you how clean and how uh, bright these things will really shine up. I had one of my subscribers ask me how to clean up these rings when they come out of the lake. They're all black and, and tarnished. And all I use is just a, a little buffer here that I bought from Harbor Freight. It's just got a buffer cloth on it. It's just cloth. And it's just some uh, Winall metal polish. What I'll do, I'll turn this on. I'll put some polish on here. Then I'll just take a ring and I'll hold it there to that wheel and just let it go and shine up. So I want to show you again. You'll see the before and after pictures, but these are, are very tarnished. They've been in the lake for some time now. This one is not as tarnished, but they are going to shine up. Let me show you how we do that. A lot of friction on here. And you can kind of see that's what it looks like now. And that's how it's getting a little bit more polished up.
you can see how much this buffering wheel makes a difference. And once I get them into the light and take a good picture where you can see my lighting out here in the garage is not all that great. And um, this actually turned out to be a spinner, a, a silver spinner. Now I'm back in my treasure room and I'll just take a little silver polishing cloth and I will just do the finishing touches up on these inside. Now the inside won't get as clean as the outside just because I can I do have a solution I can dip them in but I don't like dipping them in solution because it really eats the silver up and leaves it very dull and so I just kind of clean the inside you can see some of that tarnish coming off I just clean the inside up a little bit but then I just mainly finish polishing up the outside now that's how I clean up my silver rings gold I kind of do the same way. Gold's okay on that buffer. I always like nice surprises. When I was out in the garage, I couldn't tell the lighting was down. And after I cleaned this ring up and, and uh, began to look in the markings, I could see that that is a 14 karat James Avery ring. And you can see that is the same ring. That is a James Avery 14 karat gold and silver band ring, and it retails at $250.50 on this site. Now, what a pleasant surprise, and it just looked as black as it could be in the lake. It goes to show you that even gold can tarnish if it's in the lake long enough. So, a great, great treasure there out of the lakes. So let's take some after pictures now and we'll compare them before and after. <music>